What's going on coders and welcome to episode 9 of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about videos. So the top six methods for this video are as video, get videos, insert video, get URL, get video ID, and get thumbnail URL. So let's jump into the code and see what these methods can do. A video from a slides presentation is basically one uploaded from YouTube or if you have a video that's installed on your Google Drive you can use that as well. So let's look into our presentation and you can see that we have all these elements. We know about groups, we know about images, we know about shapes but the next one that we're gonna look at is a video. So a video again is is some media that you can play back and it's kinda like a YouTube video or again if you have your own video that it's uploaded to your Google Drive you can also insert that in here but this one is coming from YouTube so let's see if we can get that so again we can do it first by getting the page element but if you just have a page element we've seen this before you can only access like broad methods on a on a page element and those would include things like get rotation get width or remove send it back stuff like that that you could do on any page element but if you wanted specific methods for a video you'd have to typecast that into a uh, into a video and you would use the method as video so this is going to take your page element and it's going to now convert it into a video so if you want to access specific video methods say get thumbnail URL that would make sense for any other page element except a video so that is a important method to know we've seen this in all the other um, uh, episodes on page elements so we'll just leave it at that we'll say constant video equals that for for uh, later use but let's move on to the next method the next method is get videos again we've seen this in previous episodes you can first do this by getting your page elements and then converting the specific page elements into a video into a video well, as such but you can just skip this uh, right here you can skip the whole page element step and you can say slide dot get videos and that will return an array of videos so it's going to ignore again all of the other page elements on the screen and it's only going to get you those videos already converted as a video in an array alright so let's just log or log that just because we are following following suit with all of the other videos so we'll hit save and let's see get video it's because this is the plural we need it to be plural all right, we'll hit uh, run, and now we'll view logs. And there you go. We have one video that's on our slide, and it's right here. Alrighty, so that is get videos. Now let's go on to our next video, or our next method. So we know how to get videos now. Let's talk about how to insert videos. So what you can do is say slide.insert video. It's a very self-explanatory method it's just again insert a video so we have some options we can insert a video by its video URL and then we can give it some optional parameters as well like left top width and height we covered these in in previous episodes so I won't go over them now but you can also say insert a video that is already converted as a video so say like we had this video right here stored in a constant we can now input this video into this method and it would work totally fine we would just insert this video right there. All right, so let's uh, actually insert a new video, and it's going to have a video URL. So I like this video a whole lot, and I want it in my presentation. So what you can do is you can go to say YouTube, and then this is going to be your video URL. So you can copy that off of the address bar, go back in here, and then put two quotes because it needs to be a string, and this is going to work now. So if we insert uh, this video, it's going to go and it's going to look at this URL. It's going to say, all right, this is the video that this person is talking about. All right, so now let's hit uh, save and run. If we run it and go into our presentation, we can see that our video of choice, episode zero slides app, is inputted, is inserted into our slide. And it's in the top left-hand corner because we didn't position it at all. But for now, let's get rid of it because it's blocking all the other uh, page elements. So that's insert video. So now let's look at a few more methods 
and those are specific again to a video. So we have a video on hand. Let's first look at Git URL. So Git URL is very simple. It's just going to, if it is, say, a um, YouTube video, it's going to get that address, say right here, this URL that it's sourced from. And we can showcase that by wrapping it in a logger log. But before I log it, I actually want to showcase one more method, and that is get video uh, ID. So I'm going to say get video ID, and this is going to be, say, the video ID right here. So in a YouTube URL, there's always a question mark, and then if you're viewing, again, a, a specific video, it will be V equals, so this will be a parameter right here, and then this is going to be your video ID. So that could be helpful, say, if you're accessing the YouTube service on AppScript, or for any other project, I suppose, that you make, that's going to need to get the video ID of a YouTube video. All right, so if we hit now save and run, and let's view our logs, we should see both the URL of this video right here, which it should be episode 0, 0.0. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it should be 0, 0.0. And, and then this will be our video ID. So if you can see, here's our video ID. It matches perfectly with the video ID that's in the URL. So that is matching up just as we expected. Alrighty, so there's one more method that I want to cover, and that is get thumbnail URL. So if we say video dot get thumbnail URL, suppose you really liked whatever this image was right here, and you wanted to say get the URL to that image, you could say get thumbnail URL. You didn't want the whole video, say you just wanted that image. So what you could do again. Uh, you could say you could access your video and then access the method from that video, get thumbnail URL. Let me just uh, comment these out for now to save a little tiny bit of time. And we'll hit save and we'll hit run. We'll view our logs. And we'll wait for the logs. But it should return a very lengthy URL. And if we went to that URL, say this one right here, then it should return a picture of the thumbnail already, and it does. Again, you can see it might be a little bit blurry, but it says episode 0, 0.0, and that is exactly what the thumbnail is saying right here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.